from Brooklyn. I live in Los Angeles. I went to the School of Visual Arts. To me, the best living was to paint faces. A lot of people will associate men and makeup with rock and roll, but I always say I'm more vaudeville than I am rock and roll. And I'm more Charlie Chaplin than Keith Richards. The world has come to a different place now when it comes to men taking care of themselves. I think m more men spend more time in the mirror than women do. Why should the girl get all the attention? So guys do need a little bit, you know, but small measures. Small measures are important. So for me, it's just like a little bit of tinted moisturizer. It reduces redness. I do have a couple of pencils here that I'm gonna use because I, I do want to sort of make the eyes a little bit more edgy. One's like a real reddy brown and the other is a, a true black. And I think when it comes to a, a man, it's gotta be tougher. So if you use something that's got more of like a reddy brown base to it, it just looks more lived in. It looks a little bit more tired. Not Keith Richards tired, but you know, tired like in a, in a, in a hot, sexy way. Skin I think looks fine. I just put, again, a little bit of moisturizer, cream, maybe a little bit of powder just because, you know, we don't want to shine either. The thing I like about this powder too is that it has a luster to it, a little glow, as opposed to looking like a flat, powdered face. I'm gonna fill my brows in just a little bit. It's just eyeshadow. And this is a great, like, taupey gray. Just feathers in a little bit of color, and then I think I have a little bit more masculine shape to the brow. This also can be used too. I mean, you can use eyeshadow too to kind of fill in gaps in the beard. Like I have this weird spot, no hair grows there. I don't know what happened. So I'll sometimes, if I had more of a grow out, I would pick up a little shadow and just dot it in to fill in some of the gaps. You could also use it if you wanted to like fill in, you know, if you have a real lame mustache, you could fill in with a little bit of shadow. I think guys that care about how they look should absolutely feel comfortable with wearing a tinted moisturizer, a concealer, brow set, you know, whatever, whatever you need. Because I think that there's nothing wrong with it. I think another thing a guy has to have is a lip conditioner. Prep and Prime Lip is nice because it's not, like, I think a lot of times when guys put lip balm on, it's really glossy and really shiny, and this is sort of, it gives moisture, but it's really low luster. It's in some nice masculine packaging. Yeah, man, I'm just putting on my prep and prime. Let's start doing some eye work. I like a ready brown to get in there. Um, just on the inside of the eye is where I usually start. And I just don't worry about it getting on kind of messy because we want it to be messy. Already, that looks hot. Then you're turning into Iggy Pop. I think Iggy would approve. One of the cool things that you can do when you put this inside your eyes, you kind of close it really hard. It'll sort of squeeze the color out and it gets even messier. I'm gonna put a little on top too. It's not one of those things where I'm like, oh, every guy needs to wear eyeliner. I come from a family of cops. So my brother's gonna be like, I'm not wearing eyeliner, you know? But for me, for this look today, I'm feeling like it. Just blending out this with a soft brush. Black, the most important, is gonna go inside now, and this is where it really starts to get interesting. Some of my biggest inspirations are Charlie Chaplin, Rudolph Valentino, you know, men of that era. So I like playing with the eye being the only expression that they had, really. The little tramp is a smoky eye. This is kind of a tricky part. We're gonna line the inner top part. Flip back the eye and get in there. It's gross. It's really hard to do, but it looks really good. I think even right now, this is probably too structured, so I'm gonna add something to kind of mush it up and really get it a little crazier. So we're gonna use a gloss on the eye to move this product around. Squeeze a tiny bit onto there. We're just pressing it on the eye. And you can see how much shine it creates. We're gonna throw a little bit underneath too. 
This is the fun part. We just kind of wipe it into the lashes and blend it. And then we're going to go underneath and we're going to lift it up into the eye there. We'll take a little bit of that black on the top and dot it in between. I'm feeling the need for a little bit more strength, I think. If I kind of stipple the brush, it'll break it up a little bit so it won't be a perfect black line. That's a hot look. I'm John Stapleton and I'm going out tonight.